Hello everyone, Connor Spellhater here, back to another EDH guide. Uh, before we get into today's video, I'd like you to use my link in the description. It will bring you to this website where you can donate to fight against childhood cancer. One of one hundred dollars will make a donation and make a difference. <clears throat> with that said, like and uh, like and share this video along with other videos found on my channel for other people. Subscribe, might as well. Thank you to the 97 of you who are subscribed. Uh, looking for that 100, so we'll keep it going. Uh, make a comment, make an EAH request. I'll get to everyone's request in chronological order, of course. Um, and uh, hit the notification bell that we don't miss another one of my videos. Uh, with that said, let's get into this commander guide. Uh, so we kind of ran out of fire eggs. Yeah, all will be all will be one cards at least for now. So we have some secret there stuff to look at for. So we I've chosen Zethi, Arcane Blade Master, uh, one generic white and blue for a legendary human soldier three three with multi kicker. When Zethi Arcane Blade Master Master enters the battlefield, exile to up to X target instant cards from your graveyard where X is the number of times Zethi was kicked. Put a kick counter on each of them. Whenever Zethi attacks, copy each exiled card you own with the kick counter on it. You may cast the copies. All right. So this is an instance deck. So we've got some ways to get mana, of course. Um and create creatures, and we have no sorceries in here whatsoever. We only have instincts. Um, now, I don't know about Nexus of Fate, but if you could, pro you could probably exile it from your graveyard once it's resolved, um, as it's still in your graveyard, before... Its ability resolves where it shuffles itself back into your library. If you could flash out Zethi and kick her, I don't know. But uh, that doesn't matter. So, all right. So we have Deca Fractal Theorist, Docent of Perfection, Leon and Light Scribe, Monastery Mentor, Murmuring Mystic, Nibblus, Nibblus. Nibbles of Frost, Poppet Stitcher, and Talran Sky Summoner. Uh, just create creatures and buff up our creatures. Now we've got instants, so ready to go. By the way, they're not free to cast. Whenever Zethi attacks, copy each exile card you own with a kick count on it. You may cast the copies. All right, here we go. Aer aerial Maneuver. Chroma's Will, Astral Blast, Awe Strike, Blade Banish, Blessed Alliance, Blessed Alliance, Bluster Squall, Brain Freeze, Call the Copper Coats, Disenchant, Divine Deflection, Drown in Dreams, Emergency Powers, Factor Fiction, Fateful Absence, Heliod's Intervention, Icy Blast, Into the Royal, Cab 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 Cabra Takedown, Aya's Onslaught, Light of Hope, Aftah Exile, One, Polymorphous Jest, Pop Quiz, Rally for the Throne, Razor Barrier, Secure the Waste, Show of Confidence, Silence, Spare from Evil, Storm of Forms, Supplant Form, Swords to Plowshares, Test of Faith, Twin Cast, then we have Aether Flux Reservoir as a win condition, Astronaut's Altar and Doubling Cube for mana, and Primal Amulet uh, to reduce the cost, the casting cost of our instance. No sorceries, of course. Uh, and when it flips over, it becomes a land that can add mana. And when that mana is used to cast an insert sorcerer spell, that spell is copied and you may choose new targets for the copy. So really nice. 
Then we have metal jeric summonings and swarm intelligence to copy our instance and also create more creatures. Then we have 51 lands, including, including modal double faced cards, uh, but just 50 lands, if you're not including that. So we got Mystic Sanctuary, Windbrisk Heights, 24 planes and 24 islands. Here's our 13 tokens. Nines. We have nine spells in mad value of one, two parents of mad value of two, 13 spells in mad value of two, four parents of mad value of three, seven parents of mad value, seven spells in mad value of three, five parents of mad value of four, four spells in mad value of four, three parents of mad value of five, one spell with mana value of six. One parent with mana value of seven. And one spell with mana value of seven. So on chance, we have a 99.78% chance of playing Awe Strike, Luster Squall, Divine Deflection, Icy Blast, Light of Hope, Path to Exile, Secure the Waste, Silence, and, and or Swords to Plowshares on Curve. Average mana value of our main board is 1.41 with, with lands, and without them, it's 2.86. Dex total mana value is 140. Here is mana production statistics, of course. Average number of lands in opening hand, 3.61, because technically we have 51 lands if we're including the modal double face card. Um, $157.65. Not bad. I mean, I guess it could be a lower budget, but this is an awesome commander. Um, and that's it. Please put a link in the description. Help out your, your community. Help out the world. Donate here at ALSF. Alex is Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer. Uh, one on $100. You make a donation, make a difference. That said, share this video along with other videos found on my channel other people like and subscribe i think it's to the 97 of you who are currently currently subscribed uh currently subscribed and uh if you're not subscribed why not almost at a hundred so please i would love to see 100 subscribers since we're so close to it um i know we can get we can get there um no pressure though uh Hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss another one of my videos. Comment on this video, make an each request. Uh, I'll get to all requests in chronological order. Uh, of course, Monday through Thursday. Um, and days I'm off. But with that said, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next week, Monday. Bye-bye.